Welcome to WMI-TV News, brought to you by Horn Auto Center on the West Deuce of Clubs in Sholo, the Chevy store that saves you more. Now from the WMI-TV Newsroom, here's Laura Singleton. I'm Laura Singleton coming to you from Sholo TV Studio every Monday and Wednesday. Today's top story comes from Phoenix and Apache in Navajo counties. The Arizona Department of Health Services and Maricopa County Department of Public Health have confirmed the second death due to COVID-19 in Arizona. And four cases of COVID-19 have now been confirmed in Apache County. As of Monday morning, there were a total of 29 cases on the Navajo Nation. Some of these cases were reported near the community of Chilichimbeto in Navajo County. The Navajo Nation has issued a stay-at-home order for its people to help prevent spread of the virus. Many towns, cities, and counties in the White Mountains have adopted declarations of emergency to help minimize gatherings and prevent the spread of COVID-19. Also, look to your Tuesday Independent for editor Trudy Balcom's story following her interview with Navajo County Public Health Director Jeff Lee. The focus of her interview was the status of COVID-19 testing materials locally. Now to school districts. Last week, Governor Doug Ducey and Superintendent Kathy Hoffman announced a two-week extension of public school closures in Arizona. Now the districts are implementing homework plans that will include a strategy to help keep high school seniors on track for graduation. Tuesday's Independent contains preliminary information about district plans, many of which will be rolled out this week and next. Now to Sholo for some uplifting news. The White Mountain Women's Club and the City of Sholo After School Program collaborated on a project with K-5 children. The Women's Club and City staff created St. Patrick's Day themed treat bags for dogs waiting for adoption at Humane Society of the White Mountains and Pet Allies. Everyone said the kids were very engaged and excited to learn about helping the animals. Now to WMICentral.com. You can find all of your local coronavirus coverage on the WMI Central website. Just log on to www.wmicentral.com and click on the COVID-19 tab. Now to your weather forecast brought to you by White Mountain Publishing. Tonight should be windy with mostly clear skies and temperatures at or below freezing. Tuesday's forecast calls for sunny skies with highs in the upper 50s and gusty winds. On Wednesday, expect partly cloudy skies with highs around 60 degrees. Winds will be from 21 to 40 miles per hour. More details on any of the news you've heard today can be found in your Tuesday or Friday Independent. Also, don't forget to like and share the WMI Central Facebook page for local breaking news updates. Remember, Today's news was driven to you by Horn Auto Center, the Chevy store that saves you more. Thank you for watching. I'm Laura Singleton.